and Jam. Hey friends, in today's video, we're showing you over 30 minutes of pretend play of Bluey Season 3. Get ready for fairy tale, cubby, exercise, and space. We hope you enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. So Hansel and Gretel made it all the way home, and they all lived happily ever after. Wow, that's a lot to unpack there. Yeah, is fairy tale true or not true? Well, that's a good question. What do you mean by true, Bingo? I mean, did it happen in real life? Well, no, mate. Phew. But fairy tales do have true things in them. Like what? Like, you know, it's not good to be greedy and stuff. Steal, do naughty things. And if you're brave and honest, good things will work out. Oh, yeah. Well, would you like to hear a fairy tale that is true and that really did happen? Yes, please. All right, then buckle up, because it's about a mean brother who turns out good, and there's even a curse and a princess in it. Wow. And it happened for real life? Want to know how I know about the fairy tale of the mean brother? How? Because, kiddos, this fairy tale happened to me. Ooh, this episode of is called Fairy Tale. This story takes place a long time ago in a place called the 80s. Suspend belief for a minute as I was on holiday with my brother Rad in stripes when I was only 10 years old. Hey, Gun, where's your helmet? This was the 80s, man. They wear no helmets. It was a wild place. Everyone was wearing neon socks. Everything was in grids. No nets for the trampoline. Your mum wore your name on your underwear. BMX bikes were where it's at and cassette tapes. can't skid stripe. Yes I can. Oh hey, mum wants you for something. Huh? What? What do you want? Wow, wow. Made you look, you dirty crook. And made you fall because you're small. <gasps> you're teasing stripes. I'm afraid so, kiddos. But that's me. I told you, this fairy tale is about a mean brother who just happens to be me. <gasps> but don't worry, kiddos. I was about to learn my lesson. Bandit, stop teasing stripes. Mike me. Come on, Stripe, let's see if you can do the ramp. Woohoo! Yeah! I'm coming! Oh. Ho oh, ho, you can't even go up the ramp. Hey, Stripe, your wheels are turning. What's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oof. Ha <laughs> ha, made you look again, you dirty truck. <laughs> Jinx. Okay, in the 80s, there was this magic power. If two people said the exact same word at the exact same time, one of you would yell up the magic word, Jinx. Jinx! And get this, you had 10 seconds to catch them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in that 10 seconds, you didn't touch them. They would yell out, Skid! And then you'd never be able to speak again. <gasps> what? You can never speak forever and ever. Nope. Now you were cursed. Wow. Now there was only one way to break the curse. Someone had to say your name. You want me to say your name? Okay. Ban Didums? Ha! <laughs> Sorry, mates, but if you've been jinxed, you're not allowed to speak at all. What happens if you do speak? Well, kiddos, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but... What? That's terrible! I told you, kids, the 80s was wild! Anyway, being kissed on holiday was not a lot of fun. Kids, do you want your fish battered or crumbed? Battered, battered. Hey, you, speak up. What do you want? He wants crumb. Oh, kids, I hated crumbed. Who ate all the mini cereals? <laughs> right, you get over here. <laughs> hey, Dino was a bit mean. Yeah, but it was the eighties. Your moms were allowed to be mean, but dads were not that much help either. Let's see who can shout the loudest. Okay. <laughs> kids, keep it down. What do you want? Jail stripes, rad. Uh, whatever your name is. Right. So you want me to sell your name so you can talk again? Oh, 
Oh, I see how it is. It's all kind of woo. Kids, I was never going to talk again. I'm not going to say your name. I think this will do you some good. Oh, holiday, you've been mean to your little brother. Ha ha! Ha ha! This will be a chance for you to have a good think about it. Unfortunately, Nana was right. I deserve to be cursed. I was not being a good big brother to Stripe. So, when did the curse get broken? Well, the very next morning. I was on my way to go brush my teeth at the shower block. By yourself? It was the 80s! And Stripe had taken a shortcut and got stuck in the prickly bush. Ouch! Mom, help! So you can tell him you won't help him unless he says your name. You're right. I could have done that. So did you? Nah, I just helped him out. Thanks, Bandina. What? You even helped him and he didn't say your name? No, that's just brother's kid. But then, who broke the cast? Well, you remember the part about the princess? Bandit Healer? Is this your hat? Is that Mum? Yeah, you're right. That's Mum. Don't listen to him, it wasn't me. Don't listen to her, it was. Well, look, it might have been. We did used to go holidays in that caravan park. Aha, case closed. But I've got no memory of that happening. Oh, it's a dagger to my heart. How did she know your name? It was on my hat. Either way, it's a good story. But is it true? I have to know. Well, you'll just have to decide. Do you believe in fairy tales? Thanks. See you later. PB and Jam. What? Ah! Bluey. What did you say? Oh, man. Uh, I just need to do some exercise. Tell me about it. Whoa! <laughs> I found you. Why don't you just do some exercise? Same old reason, Bluey. You kids in work. Us? Why don't you do it now? Because I'd be late for work. So? Well, that wouldn't make my boss very happy if I was late. How do you think your boss very happy? By not being late for work. Well, we won't get in the way of your exercise. And I think your boss would want you to be very happy as well. Yeah, maybe you're right, Bluey. Oh man. Hey, Phony, play some exercise playlist now. Okay, 10 minutes before I have to get to work, let's get some exercise done, huh? Bingo, I need those. I'm on my way to work. Well, can you just catch the bus? But I want to get there early. I'm starting a new job. Ugh, righto. I guess I'll just do some sit-ups. What the? Bluey! <sighs> oh, oh, I'm late for work. <sighs> this episode of Bluey is called Exercise. Okay, I can make this work. <laughs> One, two... Hey, hold the door! Oh yes, here you go. Thanks. Ooh, I haven't seen you around. Are you new? Yeah, this is my first day. Ooh, well, I could show you around if you'd like. Well, I've worked here for ages. Thanks. It's a pretty boring job. This is the lift. You push this button, boop. Then you push which floor you want, boop. <laughs> this floor is just, um, people and stuff. The top floor is the best, boop. <laughs> Can I try? <sighs> yeah, but the lift's a little bit 
floor with two people is very old. Top floor. Hi everyone, this is Fawn. She's new here, I'm showing her around.
try to be a happy boss and then this sort of thing happens. <laughs> One eighty over twenty. I gotta say, Bandit, you're doing great. Have you been going to the gym? Nah, it's been coming to me. PB and Jam. No, it's time for your nap, young man. Oh yes. Hmm. There's no room for Kim Jim to sleep. Oh. I know. I think if we knock this wall out, this room will feel so much bigger. It's already big enough, babe. It's not. It's too cramped. The only thing that needs to be bigger in this room is the TV. What are you talking about? It's huge. It's not. 50 inches is no longer an acceptable size in this day and age. <sighs> I'm getting the tape measure. I can hardly see what's going on. Dad, we need this cushion. Huh? Uh, w w why? We're building a bedroom for King Jim. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, righto. <clears throat> All right, uh, here you go, kid. We need that one, too. Uh, okay. Thank you. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> episode of Louie is called Cubby. There you are, Kim Jim. A new bedroom. Do you like it? Yes, I love it. Do you think we should build a playroom here for Kim Jim? Yeah, I think we should. Dad, you're in the way. Ugh, can't you build around me? I'm trying to watch the game. No. Ugh, well, that settles that then. Oh, can we have that cushion? It could be a bath for Kim Jim. Oh yeah, let's build a bathroom. Okay. Five and a half meters. <gasps> it's just too small. Oh. Hey, my the towel cover. Sorry. Look, Kim Jim, this is your new bathroom. Yay, thank you. But me hungry now. Oh yeah, it's her dinner time. Where should we eat? Let's build a dining room. Kim Jim, you ate all your dinner. Well done. Now we can do drawing. Woohoo! Oh, wow. Great drawing, Kim Jim. I am glad we have our art room. I'm gonna stick that on the fridge. But we don't have a fridge or a kitchen. Oh my goodness, we can't have a house without a kitchen. Let's build one. Yeah! Oh man, I need the toilet. Oh, whoa, when did this happen? Hey, kids! Yeah? I need to use the toilet! So go to the toilet! Well, how am I gonna get to the toilet? It's easy! Head to the dining room. Uh, Alright, head to the dining room. Then go past the alpaca farm. The alpaca farm? Around the cactus garden. We have a cactus garden? Through the star room. What is a star room? And out the apple court. Oh, cheese and jam. This should be easy. And don't mess anything up. Right, don't mess anything up. Oh, all right, let's see. Need to find the toilet. All right, now let's see. The alpaca farm. Where's the alpaca farm? Is this an alpaca farm? Oh, no, that's not an alpaca farm. Wow, oh, we have so many rooms. Where did this place come from? Oh, I really need to find the toilet. Oh, wow, this place is wild. Where do we get this? Oh, come on, where's the toilet? Huh, got a pool? When did we get a pool? Oh, this is just too much. Oh, come on, where's the toilet? Oh, hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to find the toilet. Do you have any idea where I can find it? Just keep heading that way. Wait. Can you take this with you? Uh, all right, sure thing. There, that's the penguin room done. Oh, I can't wait to show Kim Jim Bingo. Yeah, where are you? I'm in the library. Where's the library? Next to the horse stables. Horse stables? Hey Bingo, 
I like the horse stable. Thanks. Where's Kem Jem? Uh, I thought he was with you. No, I thought he was with you. No. <gasps> We've lost Kem Jem. Kem Jem, where Kem are Jim. you? Where's the alpaca farm? I can't find it anywhere. Oh, I really need to use the toilet. Oh no, this isn't good. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We're trying to find Kim Jim. Who's Kim Jim? He's our child, and we've lost him. Look, kids, I, I don't have time for any of this. I need to find the toilet. We're bad parents. No, I need the toilet now. It's through there. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, but no. I meant the real toilet. I can't use this. Kim Jim! Kim Jim! Kim Jim! Come here, sweetie! Honey, where are you? Uh, uh, uh. It's 36 meters. How is it 36 meters? Kim Jim, are you in here? I can't find Kim Jim anywhere. There's too many rooms. Kids, I'm just gonna take a peek. I need to find the. Uh, oops. Oh. What's that noise? Oh no! Oh, no. Cubby collapsed. Run! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, kids. Louie, look. Kim Jim. Oh, Kim Jim, we're so sorry. It's okay. You know what, babe? 50 inches is an acceptable amount for a television. So is this room. Look at it. I don't know what I was thinking. Do you kids need more room? No, we're fine. PB and Jam. Recess time. Well, you guys done with your lunch. We can go play on the rocket ship. Oh, yeah, mate. That sounds great. We can be space explorers. What do you think, Mackenzie? Does that sound good? Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Mackenzie, you didn't eat any of your food. Would you like some of mine? Yeah, you didn't touch any of your water either. Are you not thirsty? No, I'm okay. Just not hungry or thirsty. You know you can talk to us, Mackenzie. Plus, I've got yummy avocados if you want to have some. No, I'm not that hungry. What about a yummy hot dog? And I've got PB and jam. And I've got potato chips. I'm okay. Let's just go play. Okay, then let's go, Space Explorers. Is it okay if I be the navigator? Yeah, that makes sense. You know the most about space. Rusty, and you can be the captain. What can I be? How about you can be this chief scientist? What does the chief scientist do? He tries to figure out everything. And he fixes stuff. That sounds good. Hey, there's our spaceship. Should we go ahead and get in? Yeah, that sounds like fun. All right, I can't wait to go ahead and get started on our adventure. Oh, yes, this looks great. Where are we going? We could go to Mars or we could go to a black hole. We should go to Mars. It has aliens. There are no aliens on Mars, Rusty. What's a black hole? It's a sun that got really small and makes a hole, I think. What happens if you go in it? No one knows. Has it got aliens? I don't think so. Then we're going to Mars because it has aliens. There's no aliens on Mars. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get the ship ready to go. Five, Five, good. Four. Tower three, ready. Two. Prepare for launch. One. We're launch. good to go. Whoa. Set course.
course for Mars, Datatron. Datatron setting course for Mars. Calculating now. All steering systems are looking good. Chief scientist, maybe you could... Whoa, what was that? Oh no, we hit a meteor! Oh no, that's not good! It's actually called an asteroid. I'll do a spacewalk to make sure the ship is okay. Roger that, be careful. How does it look out over there? There's been damage to the, um... Boosters. Boosters. I'll see if I can, um, fix it. Roger that. Datatron, are there any more meteors out there? Negative. <laughs> Mackenzie! I thought you Mackenzie! said there wasn't any more meteors. They're called asteroids. <laughs> and there weren't any. Hey, he's not on the end of this. I'm going in to rescue him. Mackenzie, hang on, I'm coming for you. Datatron is calculating location. He is located next to that satellite over there. Mackenzie? Come on, let's get you back to the ship. We'll have to land on the moon and fix the ship. Let's go ahead and set a course. All oh, systems are looking good. Preparing to land on the moon. Landing in three, two, one. Let's go ahead and do some repairs. We'll need to collect some fuel and some other supplies while we're here. We'll need a little more. Chief Scientist, why didn't Datatron see that last asteroid? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe Datatron is damaged too? Hmm, maybe. But how did your tether get unhooked? They're super strong. Mackenzie? Finished. All systems prepped. Get ready for launch in three, two. Oh no, we lost Mackenzie again. We better go find him. Mackenzie, what are you doing over here? Why did you leave me behind? What are you talking about, Mackenzie? We didn't. You did. You left me behind on purpose. Why would we do that? I'm not sure. This is crazy. Mackenzie, your tether didn't break, did it? You unhooked it. Is that true, Chief Scientist? It is. <gasps> I want to pretend that you leave me behind and I'm all alone. But why? I don't know. Well, I'm not sure we can do that. We need a chief scientist who can put us into hypersleep. Oh, okay. Are you sure we can't go to the black hole? No, it doesn't have aliens. Neither does Mars. All systems check. Prepare for launch in three, two, one. Blast off. Datatron, prepare crew for hypersleep. Yes, Chief Scientist. Datatron, I want to change course. What is the new destination? The black hole. Deet, deet, deet. Hypersleep interrupted. Huh, are we at Mars? I don't think so. Datatron, what's going on? And where's Mackenzie? Aw, oh, not again. Mackenzie! What are you doing here? We know you're going to go into the black hole. We've come to stop you. But I want to go in. I have to. Why, Mackenzie? Because I'm the chief scientist. It's my job to figure everything out. Well, we're coming with you, Mackenzie. It's too dangerous. I'll go in alone. But what do we do? How do we go on without our chief scientist? You go to Mars without me. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, Mackenzie. Are we really gonna let him go? It's what he wants to play.
set course to Mars, Datatron. Yes, Jack, but where is the chief scientist? He's gone. Are you sure you still want to go to Mars without him? Are you okay? My mom is me behind. She didn't. You just got mixed up on the slide. She's just over there. Mackenzie! Hey, Mom! See? There she is. See, Mackenzie, you don't need to come back to this place. You know what's here now. Now go. Okay. Now run, Mackenzie, go! Get out of here! Mackenzie, come on! <laughs> Mackenzie, you're back! Yeah! And I saw aliens! So cool! And there were loads of them! Come on, we should have enough petrol to get to Mars! Datatron, can you do a crew check? Yes, Captain. Captain? I'm here! Navigator, here. Chief scientist. I'm here.